to steer the Council of Governors as its chairperson for a second term. Waiguru, elected and opposed, will be deputized by the Wajir County Governor Ahmed Abdullahi, with the two declaring to focus on re-examining the impeachment process of county chiefs, which they say, or rather which they termed as unfair, consequently, consequently calling for an amendment in law to make impeachment a tedious process. Moige William begins a broadcast tonight with that report. The Council of Governors has chosen its new leadership, a team that is expected to ensure that governors' collective concerns are addressed. Several concerns raised by the governors after holding a full council meeting and which are supposed to be presented for discussion before the National Dialogue Committee include the desire for impeachment provisions to mirror those of the president. This, the proponents of the proposal say, is aimed at preventing potential misuse of the impeachment process. Further defending the activities of the National Dialogue Committee, Kirinyaga Governor Anwe Guru, who was handed a fresh one-year mandate as the chair of the council, reiterated that it is a fresh process, different from the defunct Building Bridges initiative and a perfect avenue for any stakeholder who has the interest of the nation at heart. We believe that the commitment that we have seen to ensure that they listen to many people will bear fruit and therefore that is why we are going to submit our uh, proposals. The Council of Governors has also revealed that it will be seeking an increase of the equitable share of revenue from the current 15% to 45% along with boundary delimitation stating that a majority of counties have diligently utilized their share of the disbursement from the national government in serving citizens. Additionally, the governors are advocating for the extension of recall provisions applicable to members of parliament to include themselves. We do not want uh, a situation where county gov governors are treated in a lesser um, manner than... Uh, uh, members of uh, parliament and members of the National Assembly. Governor Igoro was re-elected unanimously to steer the council for second term as the chairperson with Wajir Governor Ahmed Abdullahi said to deputize her. We have been discussing as, a count, as counties, we are learning from each other uh, how to enhance our revenue collection, including automation and um, incentives to our staff, amongst many other initiatives, including broadening the tax base. Most Council of Governors committee chairpersons have remained in their positions, with the exception of Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja, who stepped down as the human resource chairperson and was succeeded by Mutai Kahiga of Nyeri. Machako's governor of Inyandeti has been replaced as the trade chairperson by Susan Kihiko of Nakuru. Meanwhile, Baringo Governor Benjamin Cheboy has assumed the role of security committee chairperson, succeeding Tano Rivers, Daho Godana. Moige William, TV. Thank you, Moige, for that. A former attorney general.